Today I'm going to show you how to make a speedy Indonesian chicken dish which is low carb and really good for anti-inflammatory but great as a family meal. It takes very little time to make. So first thing we're going to do is make a sauce and that I'm going to stick in um, my Nutribullet or just you could use a blender or food processor. So in here I've got a can of full fat coconut milk and then I'm going to add my flavourings. So to make it anti-inflammatory, I'm putting in quite a lot of turmeric, this lovely bright orangey yellow spice. It's been shown in so many studies to be wonderful as lowering inflammation, helping with joint pain, arthritis, it's now been studied um, with Alzheimer's and cognitive decline. So it's a really useful spice to include in as many meals as possible. I've got in there as well a little bit of garam masala and just a tiny bit of xylitol just to make it slightly sweeter. So that's going into the Nutribullet. And then I'm going to also add some spices. So because it's Indonesian, I'm using lemongrass and I've just chopped that up just so that it's slightly easier to blend. I've then got some garlic and I'm also using just a slice of root ginger. These again, anti-inflammatory, lovely spices, very warming to the body. Those are going in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of red chilli. I have taken out all the seeds just so that it's not too spicy and those are going in. So it's a really easy sauce because you're simply blending everything. This is red onion. Red onion is really high in flavonoids. It's high in quercetin, that's anti-inflammatory. It's also antihistamine. So I love to use um, the red onion. I'm just using around about half of a red onion. That all goes in. Now for just a little bit of additional flavor, some tamari. Now tamari is gluten-free, naturally gluten-free soy sauce. It gives it a lovely salty, tangy flavour and then just a little dash of fish sauce. Fish sauce is strong, only use a small amount and then we're going to just simply blend so that we get a nice smooth sauce. creamy sauce. Now, if you have time, pour this over your chicken. Now, you don't have to use chicken. You could actually use any meat or fish. This would work really nice with prawns, for example. So if you've got time, just pour a little bit of the sauce over your chicken, and if you can, marinate it for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to heat a pan and I've got in here a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is really one of the best oils to cook with because it's very heat stable. It also it itself has lots of wonderful health properties. So it's high in lauric acid, which is great for the immune system. And it's also high in caprylic acid, which is a natural antifungal. So whenever you can use something that's more of a saturated fat because it's more heat stable. You could use a bit of lard, you could use a bit of ghee, uh, which is the sort of clarified butter. That would work really well. Once it's melting, so get it nice and hot, the pan. What we're going to do is first of all, add the chicken with just a little bit of the sauce. You don't want all of the sauce in at this time, because what we want to do is we want to just brown off the chicken. Now you can see I'm using diced chicken thigh. I like to use the thigh, it has a lot more flavour than just the breast, but you could use anything. Just chop it up. Now if you are short of time and you really want to get this done quickly for the family, chop it up small because then it will cook a lot quicker. And you can see there 
that the chicken is starting to go white. What we're looking for is all of that chicken to be nice and white and slightly light brown, slightly golden. When you see all of that meat white, that's when you add your vegetables. Now, the vegetables I'm using for speed, just a selection of stir-fry vegetables. When you're thinking health, think colour. And this is a wonderful selection here. We've got pak choy, we've got red peppers, we've got red onions, we've got carrots, we've got cabbage, and we've also got little bits of sweet corn and um, beans in there as well. So just get a, a lot of colour in your diet. Um, I quite like adding a little bit of shiitake mushrooms, which are great for the immune system as well, whatever you've got to hand. And don't be afraid of using bags of mixed vegetables for speed. It's a really healthy way of quickly getting in variety. So once your chicken has started to brown, I want you to add all of your vegetables in there as well. And then we're going to pour in some of the remaining sauce because we want this to be almost like a sort of noodle bowl. We want it to be quite sloppy because the best way of serving this really is in bowls. If you are vegetarian, and um, what you could do is for the sauce, take out the fish sauce and then you could add just some beans or you could add cubes of tofu um, or just some chopped up cashew nuts to make it a vegan recipe. Now I like to have the vegetables quite crunchy, so don't overcook it at this point. Now instead of noodles, I want to get this nice and low carb. So I'm actually going to add yet more vegetables and I'm going to add some courgette noodles. Now if you don't know how to make these, I have already posted a video just showing you how to use a spiralizer, which is what I use to make these. And you can see what wonderful long noodles you can create. And of course you don't have to use courgette, you could use sweet potato, you could use carrots, you could even use beetroot for a lovely golden red hue to your um, uh, dish or your noodles or your salad. But I've just used here just one courgette, that's plenty. So put those in, and you want to put these in right at the end because we don't want them to go too soft. We want a nice bite there. So we're just going to throw those in. And then normally what I like to do is just toss that for a couple of minutes. That's all you want. So you know, this really is a very speedy 10 minute recipe. It's wonderful your family when you're rushed for time and make use of those bags of mixed veg for speed and then all we're going to do is just spoon that into bowls and serve.